Hello and welcome to your weekly Oracle card guidance. So this week we're using the Burning Serpent Oracle by Robert M. Place. Go ahead and choose between option one, two and three. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one, we're asking what is the weekly Oracle guidance for you? What is your weekly Oracle card guidance? So the card we have that's come out is the Rusted Cross and it's the number 36. And the first thing I want to say is that um, the first thing that comes to mind, even though I don't think this is the complete meaning of it, is that it seems that you've been carrying some burdens for a long time. It There may be some things in this coming week um, that may be brought to your attention that you've been carrying that you no longer need to carry. And it might be some things like ancestral burdens or burdens as a result of being associated with a particular ethnic ethnicity uh, or particular group of people, whatever that may be. And there's something about this you've been, it's a kind of mentality that you adopt as a result of it. Perhaps it's like kind of victimhood or perhaps you feel oppressed on some level or or perhaps it has something to do with needing to fight and, and defend yourself on, on some other level, needing to seek justice. And those things in itself are not necessarily bad. However, it seems here that in this week, it seems like it's time to kind of let go of whatever it is that might be holding you stuck um, in an arid environment, in an, uh, in an environment where you can't make headway, where you can't actually benefit. And um, one, the way in which to change this is to shift yourself, to shift yourself energetically. And I would say that the need to do this comes from your, your ancestry or your legacy, the legacy that you've inherited in terms of identity, in terms of belonging, and uh, also in terms of, of how you see yourself, you know, how you, how you expect yourself how you expect it to behave in relation to other people. So I think that this is an important message for you in this week. I feel also that if you were to acknowledge this and let go of some of this uh, stuff from the past, some heavy burdens that you've been carrying, perhaps it has nothing to do with your ancestry. Perhaps it just has to do with something that happened a while ago, maybe a decade ago or something, and you're still carrying these burdens. Perhaps if we're, you were to let go of that, you'd feel a lot lighter and then you'd find that things would be a lot more prosperous. So you need to kind of let go of something, let go of a particular idea of who you are and how you identify with regard to whatever. It could be with regard to your finances. It could be with regard to how people see you in the world, how you're treated by society, uh, something like this. And um, and then, you know, you can you can move ahead and then there's abundance and kind of prosperity that lies ahead for you but in order to do that you need to kind of let go of where you're stuck and and how and what is actually holding you back right now now i think that is one of the meanings of the card i think another meaning of the card is a kind of a sense that um there, there's a kind of judgment it's like almost like you need to judge something in order to be able to move on from it you need to be able to um to take your stand with regard to something to the, so sometimes it could be with regard to your boundaries perhaps you need to assert yourself in a particular way in order to be able to break away from a way a certain type of a situation that's holding you bound that's holding you stuck it's kind of holding you stuck in some kind of way it's it's holding you um it's it's you're unable to move as a result of it and so there's this thing it could be ideology it could be something that, um, you know, w whatever it is, it could be something that's just holding you and you're not able to flourish as a result of it. So there's also that there's a sense of uh, of really, you know, uprooting yourself now. Now is the time to kind of uproot yourself, go somewhere, do something. And it might not be that you actually decide to do that immediately, but rather that you, you make the decision right now that you decide, you decide, okay, well, I'm going to remove myself from the situation uh, or I'm going to create a certain boundary between uh, a, a, with a friend or with a loved one or with a uh, family or something like this. And then you you move ahead um, with that knowledge and it brings a certain degree of empowerment and it almost feels as if there's 
um, you've gotten, you know what I'm talking about here because you've been reminded of this. It's come to you already. You've been, cl- it's been clear, clarified to you in some way, ways. It is clear to you what you need to do, and it's not that um, that. It's just that, you know, you've been hesitating because it's uncomfortable or it's uncertain. It's like you having to uh, charter unknown territory. And as a result, it's it's kind of off-putting in a way to be able to take this action. But that is what's recommended in this week to be able to um, either um, release yourself from ancestral burdens that you may be carrying or some of some burdens you've created in your own life with your emotional burdens that you need to let go alternatively you need to be able to or perhaps also you need to be able to create very good boundaries with someone or be able to assert yourself be able to understand who you are in a no, newer context and then and that's going to allow you to flourish and that's going to allow you to move ahead and so it's something about letting go uh, of something there's something that to be let go of and this rusted cross here is saying well it's time to actually let go of that it's almost like it's the end of the cycle it's time to let go of that and let's let's just move on now all right so it's it's not death you know as in the death of a cycle or the end of a cycle in that way it's almost like what what comes after death has also happened you know the the judgment has come and and uh, you know, the eternity is, has come and now it's the end of that <laughs> uh, if there's such a thing. And then you, you're you beginning a new cycle with very new energy. And this is um, is kind of pointing to that. It points to the fact that there's a lot of newness that is standing there and waiting for you to just walk through it and, and come through it. If only you could just release yourself. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. I hope that message has been helpful and I'm moving on to the next option. So for those of you who chosen the option number two, we're asking what is the weekly Oracle card guidance? Right, so we have the letter it's number 27 okay so um it seems like this week communication is really key for you uh it might be that it's time to connect with somebody that you haven't connected to for a long long time uh it might be that just a little letter goes a really long way as far as this is concerned it might be also that uh, somebody has been going through a really rough patch in their life and they haven't communicated as a result and now there's this chance for you to, because you've thought of them after a very long time, or you've been reminded of them for whatever reason, perhaps they've had a birthday or something. And so you've been reminded of them and and it's time to, to start, off, start up communication again. It could also refer to you having to communicate to someone that you are leaving and that you won't have any more of this. Um, perhaps it has to do with work or uh, with a relationship even uh, but I feel it's more like for those people who are who this letter is about leaving something it feels like it's more to do with like a business or work something with employment where you're saying okay I've had enough and I'm leaving uh, I think as I said right at the beginning communication is really vital this week it's really important to talk about what your plans are what you're thinking of doing how you're thinking about doing it and and where you're thinking of going with it and so I think that at this time, it's uh, it's necessary to 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 communicate with people, even if it's not usually your style or your modus operandi to to communicate completely with people. But right now, it is necessary to say, okay, here's what I'm thinking. How should we go about doing this? Are you on board with this? And uh, I think that is also important. I want to say here as well that aside from communicating with somebody that you haven't for a long time, um, I think just general communication, just generally reaching out to people is is now now it's the time that it's starting up again. So you might have had a hiatus for the last couple of weeks, but now it's time to go full on with that, full on with sending off those text messages and or emails or whatever and, and inviting people to to engage with you. Um, in the next weeks uh, or even further on but now is the time to actually um, yeah to get th- that going I think also that there's quite a lot of um, movement around you at the moment or it could be that movement heightens during this week it could be that you have quite a lot of engagements uh, quite a lot of things going on 
and um, it's important not to uh, drop the ball as far as communication as far as keeping things uh, above board is concerned there is a slight chance that there might be travel coming up for you and if there is i would say that make sure you have uh, everything in order and you haven't forgotten something make sure you've not forgotten a particular document uh, or something small that you're going to need uh, on on your way to wherever you are headed to all right so i'm going to leave it there and i wish you a splendid week ahead and for those of you who've chosen the third option we're asking what is your weekly oracle card guidance Okay, so I'm not surprised for those of you who chose option three that the moon has come up in one of these Oracle card guidance options because, of course, we are coming to a full moon. And so I think that uh, on the weekend, at the end of this week, there's going to be a full moon and it's going to be quite a powerful full moon. And what you might be feeling right now is some kind of reaction to that full moon. So I would say that the objective of this full moon and what it means for you is to have peace, it's to have serenity, it's to be completely still in yourself, okay? And I think that as a result, early on the in the week, you might be having difficulty sleeping, you might be having some kind of restlessness, you might be struggling a bit, you might be, you might have a, an overexcited mind, or you could also be um, feeling somewhat, um, anxiety ridden on some level if you are feeling anxiety ridden i would suggest that uh, you should try to definitely spend time in nature try to get out where there's open spaces where you could look at the sky and where there is a chance for you to see a, a horizon you know and and further on and that's going to give you uh it's going to help alleviate any anxiety that you're experiencing it's going to be one of the things that help alleviate that i don't think that's going to be the only thing that helps you um, get rid of some anxiety that you're feeling i think that if you are feeling quite unsettled, uh, it is a run up to the full moon that is causing that and you don't need to worry about that. Now, if you've received this card and if you're feeling really sublime at this moment and you are feeling at one with nature and with everything that's going on around you right now, I would say that you've reached your 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 pinnacle in a way and you are in alignment and you are definitely ready in terms of moving ahead with this energy with this new energy that this full moon is bringing and i would say just you know do continue to do what you're doing right now it's going to be okay and it's going to be good and you're just going to ride this wave and it's going to be good for you i think that there might be some surprises that come up um and with the full moon i think that uh this is for you that is there might be some some things that you discover that's in your backyard that you haven't discovered previously or you might find that doing something around your home around your neighborhood has been quite a um, um, an interesting and curious uh, perhaps a quite a you know quite an enlightening experience you might rediscover your neighborhood and that's something that could also happen um, here I think that uh, you know, you, there, is, there is a sense, I feel that there's a sense for some of you here that it's really hard to reach nature. It's really hard to feel that feeling of space and expanse that being out in a desert, for instance, will bring you. Uh, but um, I think here there's, there's a need for that. The soul needs that. So perhaps go into a meditation and access that realm or perhaps look at some photos of uh, some some deserts or whatever kind of a landscape that appeals to you but something which allows you brings you that space i want to say that you know music might also be playing that role for you at the moment so if you are really drawn to particular kinds of music etc just go with that listen to it many times if you feel you need to because it's got uh, various different vibrational healing um, levels that coming uh, coming into you and go ahead uh, with that and there's just one message here as well I feel like um, you know if you're feeling uh, a little bit uh, obstinate or rebellious you know somebody might be saying something or telling you to do something and you might be thinking ah oh, you know no absolutely not like I know what I'm doing or I know what's good for me well I think that there's a chance that you might not be heeding what 
is necessary for you and um, you might be like almost not realizing how necessary it is to look deeper uh, it's not just about understanding something on a surface level but really moving beyond that and and understanding it uh, further and being able to come over that in a way and so I think that um, I don't know if I've made myself clear here but it's it's basically there's something there's some kind of information that's trying to come to you and you're only going to receive that or let it influence you if you allow it to come through to you and at first your response might be like oh you know I know more than what this person's saying to me so it doesn't really matter but um or I know better or my feeling tells me it's something else but in fact that person who's trying to tell you something has a good point and they have something more to say and there's something for you to gain from that okay so um just look out for that if that happens uh to you and if you feel a little bit rebellious or a little bit obstinate like you're just turning your nose up at whatever information is coming at you then just um you know just he just hold on hold your horses and hear what the words are being what words are being spoken and let that play on your mind later on in the week perhaps uh, on the weekend or early next week and you're going to find that there's a greater meaning to this all all right so sending you or perhaps even later on um there's a greater meaning to this all i'm going to leave you there i hope that's been a helpful message for you all and i'm wishing you all a very abundant time ahead blessings abound from kismet rising